Tonight, CBS 8 is working for you to get answers on the safety of a La Jolla crosswalk where a North County man was hit and killed earlier this year. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan. That death is now leading to legal action amid claims the city has been aware of its danger for years. CBS 8's Richard Allen is live in La Jolla tonight with more. Richard. And Jesse and Marcella, we're working for you to get answers as to why the city hasn't taken action yet to make this crosswalk here on Torrey Pines Road safer. Now, documents show that for years the city had been aware of how poorly lit this crosswalk is and that improvements needed to be made. Yet, even after a man was hit and killed here earlier this year, the community is still waiting for those changes. They took my husband away from me. 70-year-old Howard Wilson had just finished visiting his wife Shirley at the La Jolla Rehab and Nursing Center on Valentine's Day this year when he was struck and killed by a car as he tried crossing Torrey Pines Road just east of La Jolla Parkway. Howard, who had worked for decades as a janitor at Vista High School, had been the sole caregiver for Shirley, helping her through her cognitive and physical disabilities. The hardest thing in my life was to face the fact I'm never going to see him again. Not in this life. He was a wonderful husband to my sister. Shirley's sister and brother-in-law are now struggling to take care of Shirley, who's now staying at a board and care facility. We don't want to see anyone else go yeah. through what we've gone through. To that end, this legal claim, the precursor to a lawsuit, has been filed against the city of San Diego, alleging that the city was aware that the crosswalk Howard Wilson used lacked adequate lighting. I have never seen such a blatant abuse of the system. Attorney Cynthia Chihak filed the claim. She says that since this pedestrian activated crosswalk had been installed in 2018, community members, including nurses and doctors who worked at the rehab center, had complained that the crosswalk was unsafe. Along with deficient lighting, drivers coming around a curve in the road are often speeding. The motorist counts without lighting and high traffic. It's a disaster waiting to happen. And Chihak says the city was well aware of this. In June 2020, citing a number of complaints, the La Jolla Transportation Board warned the city that ignoring the dangers and failing to install a better lit crosswalk could, quote, expose the city to liability in the event of a future pedestrian accident. And following Howard Wilson's death, council member Joe LaCava issued this memo, which CBS 8 obtained through a public records request, asking the city's transportation director for major improvements to the crosswalk, including new streetlights and additional warning signs. The director responded that those upgrades would not be made until July of next year. And CBS 8 reached out to the city this morning to ask them what they've done to make this crosswalk safer in light of the fact they were apparently aware of its dangers. We're still waiting for a response. Working for you, I'm Richard Allen in La Jolla.